What a beautiful day to go to the dentist. What's the matter? Kids, are you really that afraid of the dentist? He is our friend, right Pops? Nice try, kids. Your turn, Groovy. <laughs> Wait, Groovy, don't run. Groovy, don't be mad at Pops. He only wants what's best for you. Come on, open your mouth. Groovy, take it easy. The dentist just wants to take care of your teeth. His tools don't hurt, even though they're very noisy. That's it, Groovy. See, you didn't even notice. Now it's your turn, Phoebe. Wow, that chair's too high. Groovy, what can we do? Kids, what should Groovy transform into to help Phoebe? A cup? A step? Or a pizza? Yes, a step! Thanks, Groovy. Now Phoebe can sit down. Now you'll see how fast the dentist is done, Phoebe. See, it wasn't a huge deal. You did such a good job. And now you can have a clean and beautiful smile. Like Pops. What a beautiful day to go to the beach. With this heat, let's go swimming. Wait, Groovy. The sand's too hot. It got too much sun. Groovy, not so fast. The sea's going to be cold. Don't bother others. To the cold water, to the float. To the water. Aye, aye, aye. Groovy, you broke the lady's float. Look how sad she is. She wants to go into the sea, but she can't swim. What can we do, Groovy? Children, what should Groovy transform into to help the lady swim without fear? A pear? A pencil? Or a dolphin. Yes, a dolphin. What's wrong, Groovy? You're afraid the water's too cold? If you go in slowly and get parts of your body wet, you'll adjust to the change in temperature. Trust us, Groovy.
Careful, Groovy. We don't want her to fall. What a beautiful day for a walk in the forest. Phoebe, what's wrong? Oh, Groovy, it seems like you've been bitten by a mosquito. No, Groovy, don't worry. It's very common. It's nothing serious. It just itches a little bit. Pops isn't a scratcher, he's a friend. Groovy, stop scratching. It'll get worse. See? If you get bitten by a mosquito, don't scratch it. You should wash the bite and tell an adult to cure it. Guys, I know you're mad at the mosquito, but trying to catch it isn't right. Pops is not a mosquito. Children, mosquitoes are bugs and the forest is their home. We mustn't harm them. I know. You don't want to get bitten, but if we use an insect repellent, they won't come near us. Right, Pops? Oh no! Let's hope he didn't go too far. What a beautiful day for drawing at school. Oops, someone missed a fart. Maybe, maybe it's a good time to go to the bathroom. Phoebe, if you feel like pooping, you better go to the bathroom soon. Quick, Phoebe, to the bathroom before it's too late. Look out, Groovy! Oh no, the bathroom is locked! Groovy, could you help Phoebe? She needs to go into the bathroom now! Kids, what should Groovy transform into to open the door? Into sunglasses? A space rocket? Or a key. Yes, a key. made it to the bathroom on time. This is something to celebrate, guys. Remember, children, as soon as you feel like pooping or peeing, you must go to the bathroom. If you wait too long, it may be too late. Wait a minute. Don't shake those hands. What do you have to do after you go to the bathroom, kids? Always after you go to the bathroom, you have to wash your hands. What a beautiful day for a school trip. Children, you look so bad. What's the matter with you? Oh no, you're sick. You can't go on a trip like that. 
You have to go to the doctor. Don't be afraid. The doctors are very nice. They want to cure you. What? That you are not that sick? That you can go on the trip because you feel well? Hmm. Sorry, kids, but you must go to the doctor. Right, Pops? When we get headaches, runny noses, sneezes, coughs, or sore throats, we must go to the doctor. Doctors are like superheroes. They are able to find the bad viruses in our body, like Mr. Cold or Mrs. Flu, and give them what they deserve. Kids, don't be shy. The doctor just wants to help you. Wow, how cool is that sticker? I wish I was sick too, so I can get one. Now that's what I call a good sneeze. Don't worry, Phoebe. That gadget gives her superpowers. She can listen to your heart with it. It's a little cold, but nothing we can't handle. In return, we can listen to this. Can you hear it, Phoebe? It's your heart. It sounds great. Now it's Ruby's turn. There's nothing to be afraid of. Amazing. I've never heard such a heartbeat. You guys? Phoebe, relax. The light doesn't hurt. It's just a little annoying. Thanks to it, the doctor will have the superpower to see your beautiful eyes on the inside. That's what I said. Beautiful eyes, Phoebe. Now it's Groovy's turn. Amazing eyes. <laughs> Don't worry, Phoebe. It's a harmless little stick, and it gives the doctor superpower to see down your throat perfectly. Will the bad viruses be hiding in there? Help her find them. Now it's Groovy's turn. Phoebe, this is the thermometer, and you know it well. Mom and Dad have given it to you a thousand times. It gives the doctor superpower to know if you have a fever. Hmm, it's a little high, Phoebe. That's why you're sick. Ruby's fever is from another planet. Kids, good news. The doctor already found the viruses. That pill will travel down to them and give them what they deserve. Bye-bye, viruses. No one can beat the super doctor and her super medicines. Way to go, guys. Let's go get the bad viruses. Whoa. Whoa. You look better now. You can go on the school trip. 
Without a fever, there's no problem for you guys to go. But now that I think about it, there is a problem. How can we join the school trip? The school bus left a while ago. What can we do, Groovy? Kids, what should Groovy transform into to get to the school trip? A teddy bear? A bus? Or Lego piece? Yes, a bus. I love to see how you enjoy. In order to keep doing that, you have to take your medicine when it's time. Well, now the super doctor's medicine will kill the bad viruses. What a beautiful day to come back from holidays. Did you have fun? Don't tell me you've been surfing. Sighted animals never seen before? And you've got yourself a three-scoop ice cream cone? What a cool vacation! So, are you rested and ready to go back to school? School starts tomorrow. Do you have everything ready? No? Then let's get your backpack ready. Guys, how about we play Find the School Supplies? Very good. Before we go looking like crazy, let's find out what we need. Pops, please help us. We'll need a notebook and a pencil. With the pencil, we can draw pictures in our notebook. We'll also need an eraser, in case we're not quite convinced by what we've drawn. That's better. Another important thing is the pencil sharpener in case the pencil gets dull. Oh, and we'll also need, most importantly, a backpack to store everything. In short, we'll need to find five things. A notebook, a pencil, an eraser, a pencil sharpener, and a backpack. Are you ready to look? I can't hear you. Are you ready? That's the way I like it. Ready, set, go. All right, Phoebe, we already have a notebook. Now we only have four things left to find. Great, Groovy, you're so fast. Way to go, Groovy, you found the pencil. I think it's been a long time since you've cleaned up down here. Snuggles? You can't eat that. It's an eraser. Good, Phoebe. We only have two little things left to find. Well, well, well. What's an original horn this unicorn has? It's a pencil sharpener. Congratulations, guys. Now all we have to do is find the backpack to store it all. Where could it be? If you were more organized, you wouldn't have such a hard time finding things. I'm sure the backpack is there in that pile. How can we find it? Can you think of any fun ideas? Remember, this is a game. Good idea! We can try to catch the backpack with a hook. Like that stuffed claw machine you were playing with on your vacation. Groovy, will you help us? Groovy. 
Kids, what should Groovy transform into to find the backpack? A boat? Shower gel? Or a hook like the one on the claw machine? Yes, a hook! Phoebe, I'm sure you can find that backpack. Let's see, there's something. Oh, it's not a backpack. It's a groovy teddy. A soft, durable, and very fun cuddly toy. Available online, a cuddly toy from another planet. Okay, okay, no more advertisements for now. Keep looking, Phoebe. There's something that looks like a backpack. Let's see. You better get rid of that shoe that smells like cheese. Come on, one last try. Good. There's the backpack. Let's not forget anything. We put the notebook, pencil, pencil sharpener, and eraser in the backpack. We're ready to go to school. Where's Phoebe going? Of course, we forgot to put in a toy. All right, we're ready to go to school. But kids, school doesn't start until tomorrow. <laughs> so you have plenty of time to tidy up your room. Look at it. Where are you going, Phoebe? Aren't you going to help us clean up? Much better that way. Together, we'll finish faster. Thanks, Phoebe. What a beautiful day for a camping trip. Children, children, it's just a spider. See, there's nothing to be afraid of. There's a lot of very interesting little animals. I have an idea. We can role play being explorers. <laughs> That's exciting. Do you know what that is? Explorers spent their days in the wild studying very different animals. We will also locate animals. We'll take a picture of them and stick it in our notebook while we learn about them. All we need is a camera and a notebook. That's it. Are you ready for the adventure? Let's start with this beautiful little spider. Spiders make their own spider webs. Let's get on with the adventure. Groovy, again? It's just a harmless bee. Look, there are more. Bees extract pollen from flowers and make delicious honey with it. <laughs> I see Groovy has already tried it. <laughs> Groovy, you're so sweet because of the honey. The ants can't resist you. As you can see, children, ants are super strong. They can lift 20 times their weight.
Look, how beautiful! It's a ladybug. Ladybugs, under their shells, have a pair of wings with which they can fly. What's that sound? What do you think it is, kids? It's not your stomach, is it? Groovy? Wow! They're too far away to get a picture. How can we get closer? Groovy, will you help us? Children, what should Groovy transform into to get close to the frogs? Into a sunscreen? A boat? Or a scooter? Yes, into a boat. Great! They don't like to be in pictures. Frogs can jump up to 20 feet. <laughs> Phoebe, this little animal you know so well is one of a kind. <laughs> 